CBD BioCare Understanding Cannabis. Hi, my name is Stacy Pitts and I'm the co-founder of CBD BioCare. In this video, I am going to explain cannabis. When is it marijuana and when is it CBD? And I'm also going to provide tips on choosing a good CBD partner. So let's get started. What is cannabis? Cannabis is a genus of flowering plant that includes a number of species, such as cannabis sativa, cannabis indica, and cannabis ruderalis. Under these species, there can be different strains, and these strains can be either marijuana or hemp. For our purposes, we only use cannabis sativa, and the difference between the two is simply determined by the plant's CBD and THC content. So what is THC and CBD? THC stands for tetrahydrocannabinol, and CBD stands for cannabidiol. These are the two most dominant cannabinoids of the more than 100 active cannabinoids in this plant. Cannabis has its share of stereotypes. In fact, when you Google it, this is what comes up. Wikipedia says it's also known as marijuana, which is a psychoactive drug intended for medical and or recreational purposes. It also shares some other common names for marijuana, such as grass, pot, weed, dope, and there are many others that I'm sure you've heard. The definition of hemp, on the other hand, is quite different. Wikipedia refers to it as an industrial hemp, and it speaks nothing about the medicinal or nutritional benefits of hemp but rather only where it is grown and how it is used for products such as clothing, rope, canvas, paper, and textiles. So it's no wonder that people are confused. The cannabis plant Wikipedia is referring to can be seen here. Cannabis, that is marijuana, is on the left and industrial hemp is on the right. As you can see, they even look very different because they are different plants. Marijuana has broad leaves and grows in a bush. Industrial hemp grows up to 20 feet tall and has skinny leaves and a very high seed content. In fact, this is where hemp seeds and hemp seed oil come from. Cannabis has been used for centuries for medicinal purposes, but almost always with some level of THC. But that changed predominantly in the United States when the parents of a little girl named Charlotte Fiji were desperate for help. Charlotte was having 300 seizures a week and they believed cannabis could help her, but they didn't want their daughter to get high. So they found a Colorado-based marijuana farm that created a high CBD, low THC strain to see if that plant would provide the medicine that they were hoping for. The strain was now legally considered hemp, not marijuana, because it had virtually no THC. To their amazement, it worked, and the plant gave Charlotte her life back. She went from having 300 to 10 seizures a week, and it did not make her high. The results were a win-win. As you can imagine, this information spread like wildfire and all sorts of people were then moving their children and their families from all over the country to Colorado hoping for the same type of success that little Charlotte had. But it also started a movement to consider the medicinal properties and the medicinal powers of hemp. Now here's when it gets confusing. Marijuana and medicinal hemp look identical and they both have medicinal benefits, but they are two different plants. Marijuana has high THC, anywhere from 5 to 35 percent, and low CBD, and can provide a high when heated. Medicinal hemp, on the other hand, has high CBD and low THC and cannot make you high. So why is cannabis considered good medicine in the first place? There are two types of cannabinoids, those found in the body and those found in plants. These cannabinoids react with our own endocannabinoid system. The endocannabinoid system is involved with regulating things like appetite, sleep, pain, mood, memory, our immune system, and so much more. And its primary job is to promote homeostasis or balance. 
When CBD or THC enters the body, it activates our endocannabinoid system by attaching to what is called cannabinoid receptors. There are two different types of receptors, CB1 and CB2. Cannabinoids bind to these receptors and cause changes in how cells function, leading to different effects in the body. CB1 receptors are found primarily in the brain and are responsible for the psychoactive effects of marijuana. CB2 receptors are found mostly throughout the body and are responsible for a wide range of biological functions. So when do you need THC and when do you need CBD? Some conditions benefit from THC, however, it's not legal in all states. In states that it is, you often have to go see a doctor and then receive a referral from them to a state registry program. There's often a waiting period, and um, in most cases you have to buy the product only from a dispensary. It can cause a high and also cause you to fail a drug test. On the flip side, with a full-spectrum CBD oil, it's often all you need to find results. Plus, there's no doctor's visit that's needed, you don't need a dispensary, there is no waiting period, and it can be ordered today from a reputable supplier with a quality product. So what is CBD used for? These are the most common reasons people use CBD. First and foremost, as an anti-inflammatory and pain reliever. Others use it for stress, anxiety, sleep, for bone growth, as an antibacterial agent, for muscle spasms, tremors, and even seizures. There are a, a number of conditions that CBD is also used for. Inflammatory diseases, Parkinson's, Crohn's disease, post-traumatic stress disorder, epilepsy, heart disease, autism, diabetes, and so much more. One of the biggest concerns that people often have is the legality of cannabis. There's so much confusion. Even when you state that it's legal, you'll find the opposite information on the internet. It's really hard to find reputable sources. So here are the facts. Cannabis is legal when it has less than 0.3% THC because that is when it is considered hemp. All hemp is classified as industrial hemp according to the 2014 Farm Bill. CBD is legal in all 50 states when extracted from hemp. Marijuana, on the other hand, is legal in some states for recreational and or medicinal purposes. CBD extracted from marijuana is only legal in some states. Interesting enough, despite some of the controversy and the lack of information, the federal government currently owns a patent on cannabinoids stating that they have been found to have antioxidant properties and to help with many diseases, especially inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. The government also states it is a neuroprotectant, able to limit damage after a stroke or other trauma. The patent also states cannabinoids have been found to help with neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, HIV, and dementia. Now that you have a better understanding of when cannabis is hemp and when cannabis is marijuana and what it is used for, the next step is determining a good CBD partner. So here are the things that you want to look for because not all CBD is created equally. So here's what you should look for. All extracts should be full spectrum. They should come from the whole plant, be organically grown in the United States, and be third party tested. You also want to buy from a company that is transparent and shares this information. The most important thing is to make sure you choose a full spectrum CBD oil. This means the extracted oil has all of the cannabinoids, terpenes, flavonoids, and other molecules from the plant available in the product. When all of the cannabinoids, even without THC, are present, it creates an entourage effect, and that is when the maximum medicinal benefits are achieved. The opposite of a full spectrum is a CBD isolate. This means the CBD is isolated from the oil 
and no other cannabinoids are present. It looks like a fine white powder. It is all natural, not synthetic, and it can be identified because sellers will advertise a 99% purity level and high potency. This is true, but many experts believe CBD alone does not provide the medicinal benefits of a full spectrum CBD product. The other thing you wanna look for is a full spectrum oil that comes from the whole plant. Foreign hemp is normally extracted from the stalks only. No cannabinoids can be extracted from hemp seeds. Our cannabis is grown right here in the United States in compliance with the 2014 Farm Bill. Growers work in conjunction with the Department of Agriculture and institute superior growing practices. Our products are also organically grown and toxic free. And all of our oil is third party tested multiple times to ensure potency and quality. At CBD BioCare, we want to be your CBD partner and we want to explain to you what is important and why we do what we do. The marketplace is so confusing. So use CBD BioCare as your partner in explaining the differences and also a dedication to the quality because we believe everybody can benefit from this amazing extract.